What's up guys, it's Hudson B, and today we're doing something a little bit different. Today we're gonna do a little bit of a, uh, a DIY. My main problem with my kayak right now is, no matter what I do, I'm drifting. If the wind's blowing or there's any kind of current, I'm moving. What I'm gonna do today is go through a DIY anchor trolley system. I'm gonna go over all of the parts necessary to complete this anchor trolley system for under $40. You hear that? Under 40 bucks. That is everything anchor included, everything you can get from your local Walmart. The only thing you're gonna need other than the necessary tools that you can pick up at the Walmart is a drill. That's it. Let me lay out all the parts necessary to build your own DIY kayak anchor trolley system. We have zip ties to fasten our cord, like the, uh, the foolproof no hang up set up here on our cord. Uh, they're like a dollar. I think the uh, anchor was 12 bucks and change. It's a three and a half pound anchor. Uh, I've got a 100 foot strand of 550 cord, a 50 foot strand of 550 cord, a galvanized dock and mooring ring, two carabiners, a bag of one inch self drilling screws, and some stainless steel eye straps. So let's just jump into it and get this thing set up. All right guys, so your first step is attaching your eye line for your main trolley system line up here just do it above the uh above the water line is the main thing so you don't have to worry about any water getting into your kayak um, super super easy install uh, up here towards the front of the kayak screw number two Remember guys, keeping everything above the water line is the biggest thing when you're kayaking. Boom, that's one. And number two, I'm gonna pop it back here towards the back. And that's it, you have one eye here and you have one eye here super super simple next what we're going to do is we are going to configure our actual our trolley line which we're going to do with a couple feet of 550 cord this stuff right here is worth its weight in gold i keep normally a 100 foot roll of it in the truck for emergency situations but today we're going to use a little 50 foot just basic utility 550 cord we're going to create a loop front of the kayak to the back of the kayak. All right guys, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, make sure you have enough line to go from the front of the back of the kayak. And cut your line. So we're going to have a section like this, okay? You see what I've created here? Is I've created a loop from the front of the kayak to the very back of the kayak. Then we're gonna take, our galvanized dock mooring ring. Um, I tried to go with marine everything because I do do salt water and freshwater fishing. This ring here is what you are going to clip your anchor to. So we're gonna take one end and just tie a simple knot to hold it in place. And boom, there you have it. Your ring is now secured on. I'm gonna come back with a lighter and I'm gonna burn these knots just so they solidify in place. We're gonna take this ring, secure it to the other line. So now you should be able to grab your anchor line and slide it from the front to the back of the kayak. And then you have your anchor. Typically you think you would tie to the top of your anchor, correct? Well, when you're kayaking, you don't want to lose your anchor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie it to the bottom. Make sure you are good and secure here. Now that you have your anchor clearly secured at the bottom, you can take and run your anchor line up the anchor here. You're gonna take one of the zip ties. And you're going to loop it through here and loosely connect it. Okay, so now when you pull on your anchor, it's coming up because of the zip tie here. But if you were to get 
caught on anything. So your anchor is laying, boom, dragging in the sand. You get caught, you can snatch this way and break this zip tie. And then you pull it up from the bottom, making the teeth retract, therefore no longer attached to anything. Then you have your other end of your line here. You can take and tie off a carabiner to that end. I just tied off a basic loop knot just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And you just clip your anchor line to here. Your anchor line, clip it to this loop, and then slide it back and forth. And that allows you to move your anchor back and forth, positioning you where you want to be. All right, guys, and that pretty much sums it up. Now you have your eyelet, you have your eyelet here, and you have your main ring to connect your anchor to. This will slide back and forth down the kayak. All you have to do, take your anchor line, clip it to this, boom. Toss your anchor over, and you can adjust it to front and back of the kayak however you choose. Super simple, super easy. Super cheap way to do it. Honestly, I'm just fed up with getting blown around while I'm trying to fish. Hopefully this works for you. I know some people, which I may invest in later, they use the uh, they use a retractable dog leash as the anchor line that keeps you from having to deal with any tangles, any knots, anything like that in the paracord. But for those of you who don't want to go spend an extra 20 or $25 on like a heavy duty uh, dog leash, the paracord works just fine. It's just a little bit more of a hassle, but like I said, we wanted to do this on the cheap so everyone can do it. The kayak is finished, the anchor trolley is on, and it is anchorable now. So anytime I take it out, I can actually fix myself to a location and fish where I want to be. Without further ado, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Comment if you have any other ideas on uh, improvements to the anchor trolley system. Like I said, this is a super simple, super cheap way to do it. But I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.